Cystic fibrosis is a fatal disease where you don't produce a, a, a protein on your cell wall that causes you to have thick mucus and other problems. The disease has variable manifestations. The vast majority of patients will have respiratory complications due to thick mucus that occludes the airway and leading to chronic bronchial inflammation and infection. Being a CF parent is just being a parent. You have to uh, make sure that your children understand why they should brush their teeth and, and eat healthy and, um, and not eat too much sugar. You well, and there's, a, there's also, being a CF parent, there's also a black cloud that's hanging out back there and you're hoping it doesn't rain. You know, there's this specter that you live with. It's a weight all the time. Every morning, I get up or extra early, usually about six o'clock. I do a breathing treatment for school. That takes an hour, two hours. So I go to school. At lunch, I have to go to the nurse to get medication, which is kind of annoying because then I'm pretty much last in lunch. And after school, I go home. I have to do my treatment. So by that time, it's around 06, 07. Then I have dinner, I have to do my chores. Then it's pretty much bedtime after I finish my homework. In a typical day, um, I wake up early, I have to be at school at 7.45, and I do my treatments before that. I'll do um, albuterol, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and I do Toby 28 days on and 28 days off. Albuterol is an inhaled, just, I want to say steroid, <laughs> just like the inhaler, but through the nebulizer and then Toby is an antibiotic. In Central Texas, when I first came here, back in the late 70s, uh, there were approximately uh, somewhere, I would say, 25 to 30 patients. We now are following, I would think, about 120 patients and have new patients coming to our clinic here at the Dell Children's Hospital on an increasing number. Life expectancy of a child with CF when I first started, I believe, was in about in the teens, in the early teens. And now, I believe the latest information is about the mean age is 38. When I was in my training and when I first took care of patients with cystic fibrosis, we knew the symptoms and the problems that they had, but we really didn't understand why they got these symptoms. Because of what we've gained in knowledge of how cystic fibrosis is caused and uh, on a cellular and molecular level, we're better able to understand why they get the problems that they do and in turn better understand how to treat these problems. I've been involved with the foundation for about the past five years here in Austin and what started out was with a two-event calendar, a, a small walk and a small golf tournament has turned into a much, much more generous outpouring of local support. The events on the calendar in Austin for this year, we, we call it one event, but Great Strides is the marquee event that we have for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. It actually consists of four walks. We also have the annual Rick Barnes Golf Classic, a really, really fun golf tournament that turns out a lot of great people to help us out. And finally, we do a sports challenge, which is a mini Olympic event for old guys like me that can't really do sports anymore but want to think that we can. And everybody comes out and runs around the field and has a great time raising money for the cause. What I would ask of people when they hear about the foundation and they think about how they can help is, is please come and give whatever you can. Um, the, the, the thing that, that's so touching about the foundation and, and what is so meaningful to me is that nobody else is, is going to help us except you. If, if I had millions of dollars, I would give it all. But we don't. <laughs> so we do what we can and there's many of us here in Austin that do what we can. So the fact that we can't do it alone requires us to reach out into the community. The day that I get the phone call that they find the cure will probably be the most joyous day of my life. Thank you for helping us find a cure for mystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm.